اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Model Explanatory Power In this session we are going to talk about how to assess the explanatory power of a model. R square The R square represents the variance explained in each of your endogenous constructs and is a measure of the model's explanatory power. Also referred to as in sample predictive power. Simply, it means how much change in the dependent variable can be accounted by one or more independent variables. For example, a variable y influenced by x1, x2 and x3 has a r square value of 0.623. Now here this would mean that 62.3% change in y can be explained by x1, x2 and x3. In order to make it easier to interpret, look for arrows that are pointing towards the dependent variable that is your endogenous variable. Now let's say this is the model that we are interested in assessing. So here an arrow is pointing towards this variable, this, this, this. But these are my mediating variables and this is my ultimate dependent or criterion variable. Now in this case they can be referred to as dependent as well because these variables are influenced by this variable. But in simple terms, let's call them endogenous variables. These are the endogenous variables. This is an endogenous variable as well. Because this variable is being influenced by other variable. Now for this particular variable that is organizational performance, these are exogenous variables. So you will have R square values for these variables here. These, these ones and this one because arrows are pointing towards these variables. You will not have an R square value for IM. Why? Because no arrow is pointing towards IM. Variance in IM is not being explained in this particular model. So how do we get R square values? Let's go to calculate. PLS algorithm. Okay, start calculation. Now if you look here, look at this. 0.482 that is your R square value 48.2% change in perceived organizational support is being explained by IM. Why just IM because one arrow is pointing towards POS. What about OP? 62.7% change in OP is being explained by five variables. Now what are those five variables? All the arrows pointing towards OP. IM, POS, OC, CC, ISQ, they are explaining variance in OP. Similarly, ISQ, 46.2% change. So if you multiply this value here, 0.462 by 100, this will give you the percentage. So 46.2% change in ISQ is being explained by IM, internal marketing. Now moving on, Falk and Miller 1992 recommended R square values should be equal or greater than 0 0.10 in order for the variance explained of a particular endogenous construct to be deemed adequate. Now there are different values and there are different thresholds as identified in this slide. Now according to Cohen in 1988, R square value for endogenous latent variables are assessed as follows 0.26 substantial, 0.13 moderate, 0.02 weak. Chin, however, recommended R square values for the endogenous latent variables based on 0.67 substantial, 0.33 moderate, 0.19 weak. Here at all, suggested in the scholarly research that focuses on marketing issues, they suggested R square value of 0 0.75, 0 0.50, 0 0.25 for endogenous latent variables. And as a rough rule of thumb, they can be referred to as substantial, moderate or weak. Now there are different values that have been identified in existing research and these are the references. So what is F square? Now that we have assessed R square, the next is F square. A variable in a structural model may be affected or influenced by a number of different variables. Now removing an exogenous variable can affect the dependent variable. F square is the change in R square when an exogenous variable is removed from the model. What do I mean by removed from the model? 
let's go to our model now the r square value is 0.482 for pos what if i remove im what if i remove this relationship here what will be the change in r square will it be significant now this is referred to as f square the change in r square value because of the removal of an exogenous variable now f square effect size greater than 0 0.02 is a small 0 0.15 is medium 0 0.35 is large according to cohen now let's do f square analysis let's go to report and let's look at f square here it is now if you remove pos oc cc well they do not cause a significant change in op why because it is red have a look here However, if you remove IM that is affecting POS because it's explaining all the variance in the dependent variable, this will have significant impact on R square value of POS. Similarly, for all the mediators and look at this, OP. So if you remove IM influencing OP, this will significantly influence the R square value. And same is the case for ISQ because it is only being influenced by IM. Moving on, the last thing that has changed in Smart PLS4 is your Q square value. And what is Q square? Now, Q square is predictive relevance and that measures whether a model has predictive relevance or not. And it should be greater than zero. If your model has Q square value of greater than zero, then it has got predictive relevance. Now what it does is that Q square establishes the predictive relevance of the endogenous constructs in your study. Again, it is for the endogenous constructs, not the exogenous constructs. Q square values above zero indicate that your values are well reconstructed and that model has predictive relevance. Again, a value over zero. And if it is 0 0.02, 0 0.15, 0 0.35, for weak, moderate and strong degree of predictive relevance of each effect. Now let's see how do we establish or how do we check the predictive relevance of the model. Whether the prediction that is made for the endogenous construct is relevant or not. Let's go back here. And now in Smart PLS3 we had our blindfolding procedure. In this case we do not have the blindfolding procedure. They have changed it and we are going to use PLS predict for it. So let's go PLS predict. So what is PLS predict? Uh, how to use it, the concept, the process, everything will be explained in coming lectures. For now, we are just going to use it for Q square that is predictive relevance. Let's start. Now here are our results. Let's go to report, latent variable prediction summary. And this is your predictive relevance for each of your endogenous constructs. Now look at this. It's greater than zero. This means that predictive relevance for your endogenous constructs in this model is established. Now how do we report these results? So here are your predictors, outcomes, R square values, F square values. You simply have to copy these values from your results here. So the outcome is OP and that is being explained by all these variables here. So here is your R square. Now F square value. So if I remove POS from this particular relationship, this will be the F square change. Now each of these predictors affecting the outcomes, their R square values, their F square values are reported here. And here is a description of results. So you start with your R square value what it means and that is it is referred to as in sample predictive power the r square ranges from 0 to 1 where high values means high explanatory power as a general guideline cohen approach 0.26 for substantial 0.13 for moderate 0 0.02 for weak and now that you have described your r square at is what it means then you can summarize your results or tell the reader that these are the results and they are presented in the table more or less your r square values are over 0.26 so this means that the explanatory power is substantial so once you have briefly described your r square what it means 
you can simply you can obviously since i've got more variables in my study so i've just referred to it as overall or a summary of r square you can do individual r square values and explain the r square for each of your endogenous constructs as well now f square what is f square and in this case the impact of predictor variable is high at the structural level if f square is 0.35 it is medium if it is 0.15 and small if it is 0.02 according to Cohen. Now in this case, the model F square effect size shows how much an exogenous latent variable contributes to the endogenous latent variables R square. So it is the contribution towards the R square. In simple terms, effect size assesses the magnitude of strength of relationship between the latent variables. The results in table 1 revealed that F square effect size ranged between this to this. So it ranges from negligible to substantial. And finally, the Q square values for the endogenous constructs was over 0. Hence, predictive relevance was established. Now since the Q square values were higher, Predictive relevance was established and you can have a column here for Q square. And then you can have Q square values for your outcome variables here. And again, you can simply remove these cells, empty the cells like this. Let's say, let me quickly do one. So what was the Q square for OP? Let's come back here. 0.561 here it is 0 0.561 and similarly you can do for all the other outcome variables so this is how you can assess and report the model explanatory power using r square f square and q square thank you very much